Good morning. It is Wednesday, February 19th. Yeah, mostly through the second month of the year. It's crazy, right? So, I am broadcasting this to the five second rule group. I also post this to my own personal Facebook, but I like to post to this group because mostly it's people of like minds. And mostly it's about people who want to take control of their life and they recognize the fact that sometimes you just gotta just do it. And we have to we have to um, invoke like a rocket ship, five, four, three, two, one, and do it. Because if we wanna make changes, if we're not happy with where we're at, and we look to ourselves most of the time, it's because we're not doing what it takes to change. If you keep doing the same thing every day, you're gonna keep coming up with the same results. And if you're fine with that, cool, stay with it. Whatever works for you. For me, I want improvement. So I've been coming on and doing this live broadcast as a habit every day. It's one of my daily habits besides the 54321 get up and then practice gratitude and really, really, granularly <laughs> the tongue's not working yet um, feel it and write it down and ingest it because ultimately you're going to need that other times when you might need some inspiration because you know other things will get you down because life is full of ups and downs no matter who you are no matter how perfect your life might appear to other people so the topic in today's Wayne Dyer quote says something about reputation. You know, you can't really help it what other people think about you. You know, but you ha you can own it. And somebody told me, um, sent me a personal message actually from one of these life posts that said, hey, you know, you always dedicate your your knowledge and your inspiration to Mel Robbins. And really you should you should give it to yourself. Give credit to yourself for your self-reverence every day. And I was like, well, yes, I do. It's just a reference point. But at the same time, you know, I appreciated that I was at least, you know, somebody was listening and watching and relating, I suppose. So there's always, just when you think that what you're doing might be just not um, noticed or paid attention to, you'll have somebody that'll reach out and say something, say anything. And hopefully it's positive. But if you're impacting somebody else, at least you're doing something. I am super grateful for the times that we're living in. And, and it's funny because the same person, whether the younger you are, the, the less you've actually you know, been through certain things. Like for instance, I'm in real estate and just all these predictions about, oh, it's a bad time to buy or sell or whatever. But you know, why don't you look at the facts? <laughs> all you do is ask an expert you know, who kind of knows not kind of, it really does know. And so, uh, but it's interesting how people make assumptions, you know, ask the old guy or ask the old man, you know, what have we been through before? But one thing we haven't been through before is a, an exponential population growth that we've seen. We're over 7.5 billion. I remember just a short time ago, less than 20 years ago, we we're not even 6 billion, right? Something. So, and the technology has advanced so much that we have well, what I'm doing right now, as a matter of fact, we're all connected. So there's a lot of good and uh, there's a lot of unknowns, but the most known that I know is that we have to remain, remain positive. And I, and I love that because I'm seeing a lot more um, younger people catching on to that and realizing that in order to be happy, in order to get the things that you want in life, they're yours to take. You ask and it's given. And the way you do that is by maintaining positivity and connecting to other people and reaching out and helping people, not condemning them, not dividing people, not not causing conflict. I mean, some people enjoy watching a good game, you know, a good fight, and that's that's fine, that's great. But you can also do that with yourself. You can actually improve um, on who you were yesterday and what you got done yesterday. And that's actually a lot more healthy, I think. Unless you're a masochist, Unless you're somebody that uh, self uh, self deprecating or whatever, um, so um, not to ramble, but I do want to come on here like I do every day, 
and ask you if you've taken control by getting up on purpose um, and practice gratitude and listed out the things you need to do and prioritize them. And also just really focus on knocking off the things off of your list. Do the hardest thing first and at the end of the day, make sure and reward yourself in whatever way that it may be. It might be uh, a glass of wine or something, or it might be um, a pat on the back or just a smile at yourself or yeah, you're good. And um, whatever it takes, but, but we wanna be mindful of all of the things that we've done and all of the things that we are capable of. And mostly it's attitude and happiness and just, uh, you know, spreading the love. So do something kind for somebody else today and especially yourself. And if I could actually see the screen, I could tell somebody said something and I thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you. So have a great day. All right, take care.